Hi friends, I'm Parways and this is our 8th video in Django Web Development. So in this video we're going to talk about loading static files in Django. So if you see the documentation for Django 3.1 on the managing static files section. So uh, now static files are images, uh, JavaScript and also CSS files. Now websites generally need to serve additional files such as images, JavaScript or CSS. Now in Django, we refer to these files as static files. Django provides django.contrib.static files to help you manage them. Now there are some uh, configuration for the static files. For example, it's telling that make sure that django.contrib.static files is included in your installed apps now if we see our settings.py let me just open now uh, where is it so this is the settings.py and if you see in the installed apps we have django.contrib.static files so make sure that you have added this in here now when you create your django project uh, uh, it's by default it's created and you don't need to add this uh, now the second one is that in your settings file define a static URL for example like this it's also added by default if you see uh, let me just come down and so you can see that we have static URL and it is static uh, so now you can see that uh, like this you can load your static files so you can add a load static for example in here it's loading an image and you can just use images rc so image source and after that you can just add static and you can add the file name uh, or the image name that uh, you have uh, also one important issue that it's, it's telling that your project will probably also have a static assets that aren't tied to a particular app for example uh, I'm going to create the static folder in my root project so in here uh, like as I have already created for the templates but you can create the static folder in your apps specifically so for example you can create that in the pools but uh, uh, we are going to create this in the uh, our project folder so in the my site uh, now let me just create a new directory and I'm going to just call it static and uh, after that I'm going to just create some uh, so for example if you want to add CSS you can just create a CSS folder in here uh, for example if you want JavaScript you can also add JavaScript uh, now also I'm going to just create an images folder like this so now uh, in the CSS I'm going to add uh, style.css uh, so first let me just run my project and let me just check my project okay now if I go to localhost port 80 so you can see uh, we have uh, welcome to geekscholars.com and this is our text now uh, it's telling that your project will probably also have static assets that aren't tied to a particular app so right now our static uh, a, a folder is not uh, in our app in addition to using a static directory inside your apps you can define a list of directories or static files there's in your settings file where Django will also look for the look for the static files for example like this now uh, because we are using uh, our static directory in the project level so also we need to just copy this and paste this in our uh, settings.py and in here we can just copy this and let me just remove this from here <coughs> okay now after this uh, if you see my index.html I have an h1 tag and also I have a p tag so I want to add some styles for this so in the style.css for h1 uh, I want to add a color green and also for the p tag I want to add a color red so now we want to add some CSS styles for our h1 tag and also p tag so now if I refresh my page uh, 
Nothing changed. Let me just run my project again. So, oh, sorry. Uh, it's because because we have created our style.css. Now we need to tell Django about this style.css. So now we need to link this uh, in our uh, base.html. So let me just open. We want to do this in the base.html. So we are going to just add a link rel. It's style sheet. And for the href, we want to just use uh, static. And after that, uh, we want to look because our style.css is in the CSS folder. So we want to look for the CSS folder. And after that, style.css. And now let me just run my project, my Django project. And now if I refresh this. Uh, oh, now you can see that we are receiving an error invalid block tag. Uh, uh, did you forget to register or load this tag? Now, if you see Django documentation, uh, when you want to load a static files, you need to just add this load static uh, in your HTML file. So now we want to add this in our base.html. So let me just add it in here. Load static. And now we want to just run our project again. And if I check this, okay, now you can see that our H1 is green and our P tag is red color. So <clears throat> this was adding some styles to using CSS. Uh, right now we haven't learned about the bootstrap, but we will learn that uh, in another video. Uh, now we want to add an icon in here, so we want to add an image, load an, Im an image. Uh, so for this, the first thing is that you need to uh, add an image in your images folders. Let me just add it in here, like this. So you can see I have a Python PNG. It's an image or an icon we can see. So after this, now we want to add this in our base.html. So let me just add it in here. Uh, we can just say link our uh, link relation, and we want to just use, uh, for example, a short get icon. And uh, after that, we can just add a type. Uh, so we want image png and also we can add an hr href so static folder and after that we want to check for images so because it's uh, in the images folder images and it is python.png now we want to just check that we have uh, an icon in here so at the top of with the title so now you can see that we have a python icon in here so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and also for the further information you can just check my website geekscholars.com